if you're new to fasting or maybe you've tried it before but you're struggling to see results, honestly, I'm not surprised. There is so much mixed information trying to sell you something. Fasting Tube is independent and focusing on real information. Let's get started with today's video. The question, how long can someone fast before the muscles are seriously damaged? You asked, how long can someone fast before the muscles are seriously damaged? How long can someone fast before the muscles are seriously damaged? How long someone can therapeutically fast depends upon a variety of factors. That said, Therapeutic fasting never damages muscles seriously or otherwise. Therapeutic fasting never damages muscles seriously or otherwise. In the therapeutic fasting state, which has been medically observed from several days to several months as a beneficial application, the body metabolizes damaged tissues through autophagy, typically accelerating the initial use of only damaged muscle proteins at the outset of the fasting protocol, which is during the metabolic transition period before the fasting state has fully begun. After the fasting state, Full ketosis, is achieved true hunger disappears and there might even occur a mild aversion towards eating foods of any type, muscle tissue is spared and conserved, along with organ tissue and all other healthy tissues in the body. Only damaged muscle proteins, true hunger, medical starvation is prolonged malnutrition that damages muscles and all other vital organs in the body, it is the result of sustained poverty, improper diet and or inadequate food supply, therapeutic fasting never causes starvation or malnutrition, unless you start out that way, in which case it is of the few instances in which fasting is contraindicated. Medical starvation. Medical starvation. Never. During full ketosis, for the average man it takes about 72 hours. Our metabolism is focused on mobilizing excess fat tissues for ketone production as our primary source of nutrition and fuel. Our bodies will also continue to metabolize damaged cell tissues through autophagy wherever they occur. This is both a desirable hygienic and medical process of the fasting state that prolongs cell longevity, reduces mutations and improves overall health and well-being. Damaged cell tissues. Therapeutic fasting produces clear physiologic signals for when completion of hygienic autophagy occurs, at which point the body naturally, assertively and unmistakably reanimates symptoms for eating, which is the return of true hunger. True hunger. Note, starvation is so often commonly used as a vague, imprecise and incorrectly applied term, especially when offered in ways undifferentiated to fasting, that is seldom used accurately in a literal sense and more often used as a euphemism for fasting, which merely displays ignorance and a penchance for inane generalizations by the speaker, such as this starvation definition. Google search, note, colon starvation, suffering or death caused by hunger, suffering or death caused by hunger, starvation is a serious, grave daily consideration for billions of people around the world who suffer from sustained poverty, improper diet and or inadequate food supplies, in correction of the above inaccurate definition, death is not caused by hunger it is, caused by the specific sustained lack of elemental, physical nutrition upon which the body will begin to consume vital organs and tissues in search of such elements, not just muscles. There have been apocryphal stories about people who die in a panic of starvation after a single incident of being locked in a closet, or lost in the woods, etc. For a few days, there is no doubting the idiocy and power of mental fear to kill someone, but they did not die from nutritional lack and starvation they were either morons or emotional wrecks teetering on the edge to begin with. Yet starvation, 